friends, Miss Kara here again. Miss you guys. I've been thinking of some more crafts that we could make at home together while we're all staying home and staying safe. And um, so the one that I came up with is kind of a printmaking technique. And so what you're gonna need is a plastic bag and like a, a cookie sheet and help mom and dad by straightening out the plastic bag and put the cookie sheet in the bag. And then you're gonna practice your tying skills by coming around on this side and tying it. And then you're gonna, you could also use a cutting board for this and then you're gonna flip it over and smooth it out. And then you're gonna, I've also got another item from my recycle bin, this little cup that I'm using for my paint. And this is a time when you're gonna need to put a good amount of paint on whenever you're making your picture. So today I'm gonna make you a bumblebee Bees are really um, needed in the springtime. We're in the springtime right now and all the flowers are blooming and growing and this is the time whenever you'll see sometimes bees going from flower to flower, drinking nectar and, and whenever they do that, they take their pollen to another flower which helps uh, us to have more flowers. So bees are so important and I'm gonna draw us one today. So this is a kind of a simple bee. We're gonna just start with his head and again, lots of paint or it won't work. Pretty thick layer of paint on him. And we're gonna put his little bumblebee stripes on. And we're gonna put his little stinger at the end. A nice little sharp stinger. And then we're gonna put a little eye. I think I'm just gonna add an eye today. And we're gonna do his um, antenna like that. If you go off the edge, it might miss your paper. So we wanna be careful with that. Lots of paint. And then he, of course, he needs his wings so that he can fly from flower to flower. So we're gonna put a nice, thick amount of paint for his wing. And then I'm gonna show you how this works. So then you carefully put your paper over what you've drawn and you're going to press, press, press. Rub, 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 rub. rub. And then carefully, you're gonna lift it off and you're gonna have printed your bumblebee on your paper. And you can do this with all kinds. You could just do shapes and squiggles and then press your paper on. Um, if you don't have that, this is actually a cosmetic brush that I didn't need anymore. I don't have a paintbrush right now, so I'm using that brush. But if you wanted, if you don't have a paintbrush, but maybe you have a cotton ball, you could get quite a bit of paint on the cotton ball and you can spread that paint all over lots and lots of paint all over. We're gonna erase our bee basically using all this paint. You might have some, wanna have some wet wipes nearby for your hands because it is gonna be messy, but that's okay. We can wash our hands whenever we're done. And then I'm gonna actually take a straw and I think I'm gonna draw a house. Since we're staying at home and we're being safe, I'm gonna draw our, a house you can draw whatever you want. So I've got a triangle and I've got a square and I'm gonna put a rectangle for the door and a little circle for the handle. I'm gonna try to do that, maybe some windows. And then again, same thing. I'm gonna take a paper. This is more paper from our recycle box. This was my son's homework, but I'm recycling and I'm gonna use the blank side. And we're gonna press this down. And then you can just practice. You can practice with all kinds of printmaking techniques and come up with your own, um, whatever your own design is. And then the other thing that I'm gonna show you is how to make your own little puffs to paint with at home. So we're gonna take more plastic bags, and this time you get to make them into balls and crunch them up. So crunch them up, and then put them into another plastic bag in the corner. And you might need mom and dad to help you but you're gonna roll, roll it around and tuck it back in. And you're gonna, maybe one more time we can do it to keep making a ball. And then we're gonna come around. And we, then we have kind of have a, we can make a little handle at the end like this. And then this works for bigger pieces of paper like this one that I'm working on, where you can actually take one poof and dunk it in your paint and then you can do all kinds of stuff with your puff on your surface. You could even do something like that. And then I'm gonna come in with my other color. This one I'm gonna use blue. 
And this one you probably won't, don't want to use as much paint depending on the effect that you want. But then you can go back in here and it's almost looking like red, white, and blue like a flag. And then I have a little bit of silver. I'm going to add a little silver to this. And you can do it however you, however you want. You can um, turn this into a, another vehicle to get your paint on your surface. You can also use big paper like this, or you could even do it on some small paper like this. But it just is another fun way to use things that you already probably have in your recycle box. And then when you're done, the, the cleanup is really easy because you get to just pull all this off and throw it in the trash. So I hope that you guys will try some of these techniques if you don't have paint at home. There's so many great recipes for paint on the internet that you could look at. And remember, like pull some cardboard or something out of your recycle box and just use the blank side of that um, if you don't have some of these big pieces of paper or different things that I have. But if you make something, make sure you post it so we can see what you did. Love you guys. See you soon.